Why does Microsoft have two different Azure services for storing huge amounts of data? Why does it need to offer Data Lake Store in addition to SQL Data Warehouse? Well, they serve two different but related needs. SQL Data Warehouse gives us a clue about its purpose in the name itself. It's intended for SQL queries. That also implies that it stores data in structured relational tables. If you have raw data that's not in a nicely structured format, then you'll probably need to process it before you store it in SQL Data Warehouse. Data Lake Store, on the other hand, will store any kind of data, whether it's structured or not. For example, you could store everything from documents to images to social media streams. Data warehouses are generally used for business reporting, while data lakes are more often used for data analytics and exploration. In fact, one common setup is to process data in the data lake and then export it to the data warehouse. The two services are designed to work with different types of software too. SQL Data Warehouse is built on SQL Server, so it works well with that ecosystem of software. Data Lake Store, in contrast, is built to work with Hadoop. That's because Hadoop excels at processing unstructured data. One final difference is that SQL Data Warehouse is certified for compliance with over 20 standards, including HIPAA. Data Lake Store does not have regulatory compliance. This is another reason why it makes sense to use SQL Data Warehouse to serve data to a wider audience. And that's it for the overview.